Hey guys, Officer Hine. A uh, little update on that one. Um, I know my name still says OFC Hine. I'm no longer an officer. I stopped doing armed security. I now work for Walmart in Medina, Ohio, working sporting goods. So if you guys happen to be in the area, come on by, say hi. I'm working there most days. If not, try again. All right, I finally got my shipment. Um, I do know it's my cleaning tools and my hand tools. It's my cleaning kit and my uh, tools. Um, seen a little bit of what's supposed to be in it. I mean, they gave me a list, but I haven't seen any particulars. So let's see what's in it because I am definitely curious. It weighs 6.8 pounds, even though it's a small box. Oh, it's got some weight. A little bit of weight to it, so small box with some weight usually means lots of things. All right, so let's get her open. First thing I see knock my drink over, is my cleaning kit. This is the one I seen in the one video, so that's pretty cool. There's a little accessory pouch there. brush could be wrong oh no I know what that is it's a chamber brush just for doing the chamber area uh, anti anti fog lens cleaner that'll be good for my glasses and a lens brush Caliber patches, awesome. Some stuff in there. A little bit of cleaning utensils, hooks, picks, screwdrivers, little brush. Uh, it's a little punch of some sort. Standard part, double-ended brush. Some else in here. Ah, some more patches. Except these are small caliber patches. Awesome, awesome. This is a little, I think, travel style cleaning kit. Uh, 12 gauge shotgun floor brush. Oh, bloody. Get in there. Thank you. Thinking that is. Punch. I'll have to get into this and see what else there is. Bio CLP. CLP all in one. It's from Otis. Seals out moisture, removes falling from metal surfaces. Okay, cool. Part of my cleaning lab, I found out I had to clean two firearms of identity. To be a little identical as, as can be, and I have to use two separate style cleaners, two like brands, and I have to do a report on like which clean is better, which one, um, you know, what what does what. Oh, brass jigs. That's gonna be nice. Um, and I have two guns of. Similar type, I have two Smith & Wessons, both 9mm. Um, oh, nice. Wire. Pass-throughs. 
extended. The stiff one. Re enclosed instructions. Small two and three inch all caliber patches. Then clean the system, failure to read, all that good stuff. And that's got to be, yeah, that's the part that holds these, and it's a big bore one. Um, but I got to do a report on that. I have happen to have two pistols of similar calibers, uh, both 9mm, Smith & Wesson's. I have um, the old SWVE um, Sigma, and I have a 9mm uh, Smith & Wesson M&P Pro Series. So... Neither one of them are dirty right now. So, looks like I gotta go dirty them up. Uh, I gotta replace the trigger though on the Sigma before I do. When I did the uh, trigger spring kit, took it to the range, everything went well, but I managed to crack a little part that the pin goes through on the trigger. So, uh, obviously, there's something wrong. I don't feel safe firing it. I will have to replace it first. Um, it's going to be an apex trigger, so yeah, that's that's already you know, decided. I mean, it's an apex trigger spring set. Let's do the trigger kit. Okay, back to the box. Those were the same ones that were that I had earlier. It's that bio all-in-one CLP stuff. Some more wire, wire. Premium lens tissue and gun cleaning cloth from Otis. Seems like it's an all Otis set. Can you tell? Hello, that one was happy. That's an extension part. All right, and then there are more. Really? More little brushes, 17 cal short, and I think this is 22 caliber short brush. Yep, 22 short for pistol or air rifle. Yes, they have 22 air rifles if you do not know this. In fact, we sell them. Another one of the handles. Smart gun, oh, lens cloth, smart gun care lens cloth. I, I thought it was about to say smart gun cloth. Does it clean the gun for you? Be nice. Take my test for me, too. All right, I got more brushes going from 22 pistol rifle, which is through calibers 204 to 222. 220, what is this? This is a 25 caliber, which goes from 223 to 6.5 millimeter. Oh, is this one? Oh, of course, that one had to come uncapped. 27, size 27. Ah, I get that now. For 270 to 7 millimeter, size 30 for 30 caliber to 8 millimeter, 35 for. 338, I'm guessing 338 Lapua, to 357. Size 38, who wants to guess the caliber on that one? 370 to 9.3 millimeter. 40 is for 40 caliber to 10.75 millimeter. 45 is 44 to 458. 458, I think that's a Winchester round. Size 50 is 50 through 12.9 millimeter. Probably do that, that's probably muzzle order. 410 shotgun, 28 gauge shotgun. Oh, come on, get back in there, really. 
20 gauge, 16, and 10, or 12. Where's the 10? What about 10 gauge? All right, so that's the cleaning kit. Very nice one. I will be taking really was about to say I will be taking very good care of it, and I started dropping this stuff. Oh, well, I'm looking in this box, and I'm going to tell you that I'm a little heartbroken. I've got Carbon Destroyer from Modern Spartan Systems and Spartan Accuracy Oil from Modern Spartan Systems. That's all well and good. Last but not least, the only thing I've got is a Brownells catalog that has every tool part you can imagine that Brownell sells which is great except I thought I was getting tools as well fortunately I am not I thought I was getting tools so I have to get a hold of school and see um, what's going on there I know my basic hand tools lab isn't uh, for another I think eight weeks so maybe they separated now maybe I'll get that in about eight weeks who knows um, I know the classes I'm taking right now the lab I'm taking is cleaning firearms lab which is only four weeks long and then the other course I'm in right now is the customizing and stock making lab so I don't know if I'm making a stock. I know I've seen something about a lab, so I would assume I'm making a stock of some sort. Who knows? And then after that, I think it's my basic hand hand tools lab, and I think that's just the only class I do um, all together that week. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, That's about it. Uh, I made another video. Uh, it wasn't many views on it, so I don't know how many people were uh, looking for it. I did a video of my shop. Um, I did the video myself. Um, I'll show you around the shop again. Only a few things have changed since that video, I think. Um, this is my main bench, if you will. I do most of whatever kind of work I do. I've actually done a couple wood crafts and whatnot, customizing crafts. Uh, I customized a um, bow and arrow that I got from my Walmart for my daughter. Uh, don't have any video of it. I didn't video it. I was I was concentrating way too much on making sure I did it right. It was for her birthday. Um, she liked it. Uh, I took a lime green bow and turned it purple and black. And it looks great uh, in my opinion um, I also made a craft box from scratch for her I did that here and I actually got this black felt down this lined her box and it's actually blocking all of the nice lavender color that's on my bench now the joys of having a daughter hey but I'll come around here oh I'm also wearing my SDI shirt that I got some weeks ago, just out of the blue, just came in the mail. Sweet. What also came with, that's about this. Shipment. I got this with the shirt. It was covering the uh, tube that it came in. I think it looks pretty cool. Just put it up there. Just, re just remember I had it. It's a white sewing machine. I actually, uh, the bow came with a quiver, and I sewed my daughter's name into it. Yes, I know how to sew. Guys, shut up. Learn to show. Learn to sew. Do it. <laughs> uh, got my work apron up here. Um, I bought it off eBay. And I'm prior Navy and I'm all things military, tactical, whatever. So it has Molly. I got to get me an admin pouch. I can use it for maybe small odds and ends. Um, I also love everything at Assassin's Creed. So I've got my Assassin's Creed patch. Um, in the one video I had seen for SDI, I seen they had patches. I haven't seen anything about patches or heard anything about patches. Maybe I'll ask my administrator too if they have patches. I'd like to put an SDI patch up on that thing. A marker and pencil for marking, uh, cut points. Uh, over here I got 
So um, my basic cleaning kit that I had myself, just a little universal kit I threw in here, gun cloth. This is stuff left over from my um, Hydrographics dip kit. Uh, my REM oil, my drill bits. I will get to that in a minute. Uh, screwdriver set I got from Harbor Freight. Some drill bits I got from a guy that I got the drill press from, actually. I'll show you in a minute. I made my own bench block, just something basic, something to hold a slide and drive pins out through. Um, my oil pan for changing oil in the car. Uh, I got a gun cleaning mat underneath it. I've got a respirator, dust mask. Headlamp, very useful down here in the basement because I have one light bulb that is in my general area of work, and that over there tends to be a little dim. Uh, works great. I got it for like two dollars at an Aldi's. Scuff pad, pillowcase for I think I used it as a cleaning mat at one time. Some odds and ends, rags, my safety goggles, some work gloves. Magnetic tray holder. My old pistol case that I actually put my files in. Keep them safe. It's got a soft bottom to it. My tool case down there with all my Black & Decker stuff. Yes, my seat. Very deep seat. Then I got all my other tools in here. The paints I actually used to help customize that box and the bow. WD-40. Gotta have WD-40. My paint brushes I use for that. Staple gun. I uh, I bought me some tools to help because I ended up taking my M&P apart. So I got me. Uh, it's a regular hammer, but I got me a hammer with a hard end, soft end, and it comes with two other soft ends that are lighter, I believe. Um, steel clamp. Staple gun. Uh, angle, a little bit of sandpaper, some screws and bolts and nuts, nails, cheaper than dirt catalogs. This is what I restrung my daughter's bow with. This was good. This actually matched it perfectly because before it had this was the string on it. Lime green, not her color. Purple, her color. And it worked. It's a little bit thicker. But after pulling it taunt, it worked perfectly. Bought myself some punches from Harbor Freight. They work great. I mean, they're not the greatest, but they work great. They do the job. My targets, you guys remember that from the first video. Um, a slinky, oddly enough, is spring wire. And I've used it once to help with, um, actually with, reassembling my M&P because I didn't have a hook at the time and that one spring that's on the trigger you got to get under there for the pin couldn't get it and chopped off a little bit of that it's actually laying around here somewhere I end up using it to hook into and get a slave pin in there a um, couple brushes some other minor tools up here socket set minor kit piece of a hanger Liner kit, case for the M&P, gunsmithing drill set up there in the red case above it, miter saw and box, hacksaws up there, and then I got uh, chemicals and gloves and my alternator boxes, which is empty. I'm just going to use it for like storage or whatever. Now, my what I call the centerpiece is my drill press I ended up getting from a guy. Uh, he was on eBay, but it was a local pickup only, so I have me in the area. This drill press is at Harbor Freight, or was at one point. He bought it back in 2011. Brand new. It went for $70. I got it for $60. It was still at $70 at Harbor Freight, but it had the light coming off of it. Thing, he said he worked, he used it once. Ran it to drill like 20 holes. Thing works great. Quiet. Got all the bits. It's five speed. And it's an eight inch. It says it on there. But the belt is just perfect. No cracks, no dry rot. 
lid gives me a little bit of a problem, but I think that's just user malfunction. Uh, it's got the stop dial and the base, of course, this rotates. I still got to bolt it down, but I will do that at a later date. This I got from Harbor Freight was a sawdust catch bag, and I repurposed it because I love repurposing things. And I made a cover. I didn't even do anything to it to alter it. It is perfect size. So if you're looking for a cover for your drill press for whatever reason, and you can't seem to find one, well, the main part you got to cover, this will cover perfectly. This I built for it. Uh, this is an extra piece of countertop I found laying somewhere over there in the basement. A bunch of wood planks that I had hanging up. Uh, over the one area that was here at the house when we moved in, the ruler to the yardstick was here. Um, built this from scratch. It's pretty sturdy. I have a couple shims in the bottom just to keep it from wobbling because the ground over here is really uneven. But this is level. This is as level as can be. If the ground was level, I wouldn't need the shims. I got a weight bench that's in my way. I bought it from the front and they haven't used it once. Still wish it would have came with tools. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully, I get my tools maybe in about eight weeks or so. I'll keep you all updated. Uh, if you're interested in the SDI program, honestly, I've been doing pretty good with it. Um, I failed my English class. I didn't know that the uh, associates program, actually, it is a college program. Yes, I knew that. I didn't know it was going to have general education courses. Surprise, general education courses. I ended up getting English uh, and I ended up failing it, so I do have to probably retake that at the end of all my courses, so I'll probably have to pay out that as well. Um, but if you're interested in it, they have tons of other variations of the courses. The Advanced Gunsmithing Certificate is a... Um, non-college course but you get credits you get college credits as well but it's not tuition assistance eligible uh, the course I'm going through I'm getting tuition assistance for but it's non-tuition assistance um, eligible it's the only it's one of the courses that's not but they have that they have the armors course for 1911 AR-10 and AR-15 and a few other different courses too you want to take welding when I think they have welding courses don't quote me on that but I think you have to go on the website sdi.edu check it out they've got a whole list of everything there the guys there and the gals that are in the office the admin office there wonderful people they helped me out uh, I had a death in the family uh, late last year my cousin passed away army vet and had a hard time with my courses, went to them, told them what was going on. They helped me out. They uh, got me on track, got me going through, and I passed both those courses while dealing with that. They helped me out. My family helped me out. They're great people, honestly. Got any questions for them, call them up. They will talk with you and answer any questions you got, honestly. SDI.edu. Till then. See you guys next time, and I might even have a new uh, uh, screen name, channel name, whatever, by then. So, I'll still be there. Subscribe, like the video, do all that wonderful stuff. Hey, let's make me famous.